James John Cordy and um, when I was staying in a hotel in Paris, um, Johnny Depp actually threw a phone directly at my face and um, caused a, a bit of damage. Um, I just wanted to say my my truth. Obviously, today uh, I got sent a message saying that some of my Robin Ford patches for the Helix, which I tried to pour over to the HX Stomp, uh, some of them work, some of them didn't. Some of them work, some of them don't particularly well. So I wanted to recreate them today and in doing so made a little discovery. So we'll break down the tone a bit if, if that's what you're wanting. Um, but I just also wanted to draw your attention to preamps. I've talked about this before, um, but I want to show you why maybe you want to check these out. So uh, quite a common thing that I read and hear people say is that um, some of the responses of the amp models in the, the Helix or HX Stomp or any model are really um, people have issues with and find them a bit spiky. Um, you know, perhaps it doesn't sound to them how they'd expect that thing to sound necessarily. Um, so here's a Tube Screamer into a, a Twin and into uh, the Twin uh, so like two EV speakers. Um, this is with the normal amp uh, settings. So I'm not using a high cut particularly there. I think I've got the high cut set to... Oh, that is even with a high cut. So even with a high cut, it's, it's kind of, uh, to me, got a little bit of that. Got this little bit of spikiness. If I put the high cut to where it would be normally, you probably get even more. I've got a dual cab on, so. So that's a little bit spiky. Um, let's go back to how it was before we did the. So this is a high cut at about five. So that's got a, a certain tone to it. Now, here's the same kind of tone. Everything's the same, except I've used um, the preamp version of the US double norm, so a Fender Twin. It's definitely quieter, so I'm gonna just try and... Kind of not got that same spikiness to it for some reason. Um, I think I have to kind of boost the the channel volume and stuff to get to the same kind of place that I would with the other. So it's basically this much less present kind of warmer thing, I think. Uh, let's just switch back to the other. Basically a much politer tone. Um, you know, whether that works for you or not is a, a different conversation. But uh, 
just something you might want to bear in mind. So if you're finding things kind of present and fizzy, maybe check out the maybe check out the preamp version of whatever amp you're using. <laughs> So what have I actually got going on in this preset? So this is the Fender Twin one. So uh, for my clean, uh, and I can basically just talk you through the settings, I've got a US double norm preamp, as we just discussed, discussed, discussed. The drive I've got at 8.7, bass is at 4.4, mids are at 5.2, treble is at 5.7, master is at 10, and channel volume is at 8.5. The sag I've pushed up to 6.7 and hum is where it should be at 5. I've got a twin, um, a dual cab basically with the 2x12 double C12N. Um, one has got a 121 ribbon mic and the other one has got uh, a 160 ribbon mic. Um, and I think a slightly, uh, the first cab is at a 1.5 inch distance with no reflections and the other one is at 3 inches with. 10% reflections and then I've got an elephant man at 112 milliseconds 39% feedback chorus mode but I've dropped the chorus depth to 0.4 the mix is at 36% and everything else is as standard and then I've got a 63 spring um, at mix 24 and I think I'm pushing that mix up when I kick in the lead stuff so for the leads I've either got um, a, a Diana drive, which is a Zen drive, with the gain at 8, uh, the voice at 5.6, tone at 4.4, level at 4, or I've got the Screamer with gain at 8.1, tone at 6.5, level at 7.8. So um, those are the basic settings. So on, I've got a clean on Snapshot C, which Robin Ford doesn't use too much of. And then I've got either a Zen drive or a tube screamer. And then I've also created this preset but with a litigator uh, which sounds slightly different. So the litigator version, same kind of ideas, roughly the same settings, same cabs. Um, and on the actual litigator, I've used a full amp version. I've got the drive at four, bass at five, mids at five, treble at 6.7, presence all the way off. And again, I've turned the sag up to 6.7 and turned the hum and ripple down. <laughs> that early Robin Ford tone is important to be with the bridge pickup uh, most of the time and it's a humbucker uh, that's kind of the key to some of his earlier tones I think anyway that's um, what I put together for that um, I can recreate this on the pod go if someone leaves a comment and asks me to do so um, and this will work for the Helix as well. But on the Helix, I've kind of combined those two patches together um, so you get a kind of more complex tone, um, but obviously you can't quite do that with the HX Stomp. But that's how I would tackle a Robin Ford, Larry Carlton style tone. Uh, hopefully that's vaguely useful. Um, if you want those presets, they'll be in the description. There's all, also a buy me a coffee link uh, if you like what I'm doing with the Helix HX Stomp Podgo videos and you want me to continue on that kind of path, um, maybe if you've got a suggestion uh, of a tone you'd like me to tackle, that might be something that might make you want to use the Buy Me A Coffee link. Um, but only use that if you can really afford to or if you've got a suggestion or something or if you really appreciate what I'm doing for whatever reason. 
thank you for stopping by and if you could like and subscribe that would really help and hit the bell and I'll catch you for another video soon. Cheers.